Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is our lesson 15 on Tricentis Tosca automation tool concepts. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you the concepts like explicit name, result count, T box, set buffer and repetition. So these are very important concepts in your real time experience. Basically, you can automate different scenarios by using these simple concepts. Please subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon. You'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos on Tosca and other technologies. Thank you. Okay, so our first agenda item is explicit name and the second agenda item is index. So explicit name, it is a configuration parameter which can be added to a module which allows a change in the test step value name, which reflects a technical identification, which means so whenever there is a control on your system under test application, which cannot be identified by using the current available properties, then what you can do is you can basically define your own configuration parameter as explicit name so that you can change the test of value name to identify the object or a control which reflects a technical identification okay so i'm going to explain you uh, with an example after this theoretical session okay so that you will understand clearly and what about index so Numbers of objects that have the same properties or do not have a unique identifier. That means if an object does not have a unique identifier, then we'll be using index, right? In, our, in the order they appear on the page. So let's say on the page, if you have a multiple buttons, buttons called detail buttons, let's say you have 10 detail buttons, then the order in which these buttons are arranged then we'll be using the indexes number one number two number three and so on okay so basically this index is more or less similar to explicit name okay so explicit name allows tricentis tosca to steer these objects using index taking into the account any dynamic changes so that means when you are using an explicit name as a configuration parameter, Tosca will be using an inbuilt index property to identify the object or a control which is not identified as a unique identifier. You understand, right? So basically explicit name and index both are almost similar. So whenever you use the explicit configuration parameter, Tosca at the back end, it's going to use an index property. Okay. So when I explain you uh, the example uh, with Tosca tool, you will be able to understand this concept clearly. Okay. So what is our third agenda item? It's a result count. And our fourth agenda item is T box set buffer. So result count is a property that is the result of a counting process which can be used for all controls. So let's take an example. If you go to an order history, right, in web shop, so you will have, you will be redirecting to a order history page. Under order history page, you will have multiple, basically, tens and twenties of your orders that has been placed in the past, correct? So that means if you want to see the number of orders on your page, then you can use result count, which gives you the number of orders on the orders history. And also this can be used for row count and column count for any HTML tables. Okay. So this is a theoretical part which I'm covering. Okay. I'm going to walk you through the Tosca tool with a real time example. Then you will understand where can we use these concepts and also T box set buffer. So it is a standard Tosca module that comes along with the Tosca tool, which allows you to set a value to a buffer manually. 
that means so in my previous sessions i have explained you how can we buffer a value dynamically to a variable correct but this t box set buffer can be used to set buffer manually okay so our fifth agenda item is repetition so it is a parameter which instructs tasca to repeat the steps within the specified level a specified number of times we can specify repetition on the test step folder level only which tells tasca to repeat the steps within the folder that means we generally define a test step under test step we will be creating multiple folders with a test steps correct so that means you can repeat a test step multiple times by specifying the number of times that you would like to repeat let me take an example again so if you go to the order history if you would like to verify the order total of each and every order present on the order history page that means on the order history you might have 10 20 orders correct for each order you will have a order total so if you want to verify order total on each order you have to repeat the same step of verification of order total for every order right so then i'll be using this repetition parameter to verify the order total for every order okay so this is our theoretical session so let me now let me walk you through the actual examples how can we use all these five concepts in real time to make it very easy for us to automate the different types of test cases okay so let me uh, walk you through the actual examples to understand uh, these five uh, very important concepts so in this session it's a very small session only but uh, you have to understand uh, five different concepts okay so before i take you to the tasca tool i would like to uh, explain what scenario we are going to automate and why do we need to use these five concepts okay so the scenario is i have to see what are how many orders present on my order history right and now i have to add the order totals so of all the orders basically for every order for every order i have order total correct so now i would like to add the order total for every order so that i can see what is my order total for entire orders in the order history right so this is the scenario we would like to automate so to automate this kind of scenarios we need to use all these five concepts okay so now let me take you through the tasca tool with example okay so now this is our uh, tasca tool okay so before i start creating a test case i would like to make a small change to the order overview if you see my previous session i have explained you about the order overview where we have captured uh, these controls correct order total detail and then this div container correct so you can go through that uh, video before you start watching this okay so now what i would like to do is i would like to go to the modules basically i am in modules right and then i should go to orders page now what i did is i have just copied this entire module and pasted here okay to make sure that um nothing is gets disturbed uh, for the previous uh, previous test cases so here to automate the scenario whatever i explained so first we need to do two changes in the module the first one is go to order totals okay under order totals if you see here the properties under properties there is outer text this outer text need to be modified because this outer, outer text shows you the static value correct so this order total i would like to include a wild card 
by using star okay so what i did is i have replaced the outer text with a static value by a dynamic value by including the wild card okay this is one change you have to do and if you go back to the order overview again and under order info here so now i'm talking about the explicit name we need to add an explicit name for this particular div container this is our div container what is that container so that container is this one this entire table right this entire table this is a div container right we are capturing all this along with the text and details so this container for every order there is a container correct so now we have to modify that container properties by adding a new create a configuration parameter by adding a new configuration parameter you just need to click on new configuration parameter and this parameter need to be named as explicit name okay explicit name and you have to make this explicit name as true okay so this these two modifications we have to perform so that you can calculate the order total and you can add these order totals from your history of the orders from all the orders basically right okay so then once you perform that modification to the module okay now it's our turn to create a test case to automate the scenario for that let me explain library so let's create a new folder here test case 6 okay it's a new folder and then let me create a subfolder let me create a subfolder here this is our 15 right 15 explicit explicit name and result count explicit name and result count and then create a new test case which is total of all orders basically we are calculating the total of all the orders that are present in the order history correct so that is our test case name and now all you need to do is let me add my reusable test step blocks okay first let's drag and drop your preconditioned reusable test step block and then also drag and drop post condition reusable test step block then for post condition reusable test step block you have to resolve the reference because i'm going to make some changes to the post condition so if i do any changes to this reusable test step block here then our actual library post condition also gets gets impacted so that's the reason i would like to resolve the reference here resolve right click and click on resolve reference that means now this test step does not have a reference of reusable test step block okay now i can perform some changes to this okay so here once you resolve the references now go to precondition so under precondition oh sorry so under precondition you have to specify the url right so let me do that okay quickly you have to specify the business parameters correct so let me specify the business parameters by entering my url and then my email id and the password okay so once that is done now i would like to create 
a new folder okay before in, before creating a new folder let me just make sure that this is defined under post condition we have this okay so now so let me add a new folder for this okay a new folder called orders page okay once you create orders page go to that folder and here add a test step called top menu so this is my test step and then add another test step called my account menu right and rename this top menu to navigate to my account and then rename this as navigate to my orders so this one we already did okay basically i am navigating to my account here and then i need to navigate to the orders so the same test steps we are building here okay see adding modules you can do two ways one is just right click and click on add test step or what you can do is just drag so what you can do is you can arrange this modules at the right side and then you can basically drag and drop the modules whatever you require okay so let me do that going forward okay so this is done and now let's create a new folder one second set buffer so now this is done we have to create a new folder called set buffer okay basically we see by this what we did is we are navigating to our my orders page correct so for that what we have to do here i need to click on my account correct just mention my account and then i have to click on orders so mention this as x so once that is done so now let's create another new folder called set buffer set buffer so then click on set butter buffers folder and now here you need to add a new test step called it's an existing module of tasca which is t box set buffer okay add this module so once you add the module you have to rename this buffer as sum so let me rename this actually to set sum to 0 i'm renaming the test step as set sum to 0 okay so here i'm creating a buffer sum and then i'm assigning 0 to that sum and also i would like to create an order number buffer and i would like to leave this as blank why because if you observe my previous videos right in the previous test cases we were storing an order number into a buffer called order number so that means in the memory for tasca the order number buffer has been stored with the previous order number correct so to rectify that issue what we need to do is before executing this scenario i would like to make the order number as blank i don't want to store any previous order numbers so that's why i am initiating the order number buffer with a blank value so that i can use this order number in future for this scenario okay so that is done now let's add another step in the set buffer as uh, basically let me add another step order over you so which we uh, just now we added okay let me just drag and drop here okay so this order over you just now we made some changes correct 
by adding explicit name and by introducing wildcard here correct so now i would like to drag and drop this new order overview module drag and drop here to form a test step done so we dragged and dropped this is our test step and then here we have to under order info let me just uh, close this modules under order info i would like to so let me first of all rename this as count number of orders okay count number of orders so what we are doing now under order history i would like to count how many number of orders i have so that i can capture order total from each number each order number those many times let's say i have 70 orders then i have to capture order total from all these 70 orders so for that i need a number of orders that i have on the order history okay so now for that i am performing this okay count number of orders here what we need to do under order info property i have to click on this down arrow here i have to perform result count okay result count equal to i have to how many results i am getting basically how many div tables order info div tables present in the order history those results should be stored under number of orders variable or a buffer okay what i am instructing here result count equal to number of orders and i would like to make this as a buffer okay that means i would like to store the number of these containers number of containers number of these containers into a buffer called number of orders okay i am buffering them once that is done now let's again go back to our test case and here once we set the buffer and then count the number of orders as i mean basically we are setting the buffer as a number of orders now we have to create another folder here okay so before we create let me arrange these in chronological order okay after precondition orders page and then set buffer once we set the buffer now i would like to create another folder called count up count up okay concentrate on this count up and then here if you go to the properties of this count up so because this count up is to use the repetition basically i would like to repeat for every order to add the order total correct so now this count up here if you see the repetition so how many times i would like to repeat the test steps here i can define here okay how many times the number of times equivalent to the number of orders okay so we have already captured the number of orders so let me arrange this in chronological order first okay let me bring this here so under set buffer we already storing the number of orders in number of orders buffer so that means i would like to repeat the step these many times correct so that's why i would like to specify this repetition as buffer number of orders that's it that means i am defining so as soon as i mention if you see here the count up folder has been changed as a repeatable mode correct so i am asking to execute this entire folder number of orders whatever the number that has been stored under a buffer called number of orders correct so now under count up i would like to add again the order overview which is just now we created order overview 2 right and then 
rename this as a repetition. So first of all, let me rename this as buffer order total. Buffer order total. And here, because order info in the module, let me show you. Under module, what we did, we have introduced an explicit name, correct? For this, okay, for this, we have introduced an explicit name as a property, correct? If you see here, we have introduced explicit name for order info here, explicit name as true. Hence, now I can rename this div container as repetition. As repetition. So basically, what I am saying here, I am renaming, basically I am using the index of let me show here again. What I did, I have introduced this repetition with the buffer called number of orders. And now I am using the same repetition for the container. That means first it starts with one and then second it starts with two, second container, third container. So number of orders, how many number of orders are there? Those many number of orders gonna index here. Okay. So once that is done. Now I would like to verify the inner text of order total, correct? So for that I need to select inner text equal to what I need to do is here order total. The, our in, inner text is order total. Let me make sure I am capturing the exact spelling here, okay? If you go here order total till hyphen copy paste as it is colon space here now when I am verifying order total I would like to exclude this I would like to exclude this and then store into a buffer for that as I explained my in my previous sessions you need to use a syntax Open curly braces, XB, open square brackets, order total. So what I am doing here, I am storing this dynamic portion into a buffer called order total. Correct? So if you see here, I am verifying and also I am I am verifying this entire text and also I am storing this for every iteration. Okay. So once that is done, now you have to add another test step here. Okay. Right click, add test step, T box, set buffer again box set buffer and here you need to basically set the buffer here okay and then I'll rename this as sum up so right now I'm I would like to sum the order total for all the orders okay sum up and here you need to rename this Basically, I would like to rename this as a sum. Okay. And then you have to enter a math function for this sum. What math function? M-A-T-H math. What I am doing, I would like to add the buffer value of sum. plus the buffer value of 
order total order total and then okay so if you see here what i am saying so if you observe closely this count up folder correct this entire count up folder what we are doing okay let me concentrate on this first what i am doing i am create setting a buffer called sum which is zero and then i am setting a buffer called order number which is blank now here what i am doing i am counting how many number of orders present on my screen in the order history so once i get the number of orders i am setting the count up folder for count up folder i am setting a loop basically it's a for loop it's kind of for loop that will be using for task so how many times i am asking to repeat this this one this step how many times total number of orders we captured okay so how many number of orders present on the page those many times okay now i have allocated that buffer here and then i am using the same repetition for the container so that it can identify each and every order total for every container correct and then what i am doing i am adding first sum sum is what zero for the first time which is zero and my first order total is it's going to take the first order total right which is 35 dollars let me show you here here so which is 35 dollars and then it is going to sum these two now your sum will be 35 again it comes back here second time it comes here now the order total is 35 now here 35 plus 35 my second order total is 35 again so 35 plus 35 is 70 and then it comes back again so how many times it is going to loop it's going to loop the number of times which is equivalent to your number of orders present in the history okay so now let me run this entire test case and see what happens okay just run in scratch book so before that let me close all these okay guys let's run this test case in the scratch book so it should open i think i have not allocated browser for this okay let me do that okay i think it's already there no let me just close this again okay let's do some corrections in the script a small correction okay if you go here in the precondition if you see in the precondition and also in the post condition i would like to delete one step here i i don't want to perform this step delete continue and here if you see in the precondition what is my browser here i've set for the browser let me set the browser here okay test configuration so i did not set the configuration here okay so let's create a test configuration called browser and then i would like to use chrome let's use chrome today okay instead of internet explorer now let's run this test case now so right click click on run in scratch book okay it opened logged in and then it should go to my account and then it should go to orders and here it is calculating the total orders basically it's going to sum all the orders of your order order history it might take little time and then log out and close the browser okay i think close browser is got failed that's okay let's see what are the results okay so let leave about close browser there is some issue but anyway we, i want to concentrate on count up if you see here how many times it repeated the count up it's almost like 77 times because i have a 77 orders and everything got passed if you see 
the order total is verified successfully it stored your order total called 35 dollars and then it's going to sum with zero plus your 35 dollars correct zero plus 35 dollars is 35 dollars if you see the second one sum up if you see the second one it stored the buffer again 35 dollars stored the buffer again 35 dollars because your second order total is 35 now it's previous 35 dollars plus current 35 dollars which is 70 so if you go to 10th one 351 so this way if you go to the last order your entire sum of your total orders is 4129 dollars correct so that means we have performed sum of all the orders by using these five concepts it's very really important concepts all these five concepts are very important you can use in real time while automating the scenarios okay hope you all understand these five concepts very important concepts and small concepts please subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos on different technologies and different concepts. Thank you.